Alhara Main La Adventure Blanche. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Alhara Main Law Adventure Blanche. And this is actually a fingerprint magnet, so I keep trying to wipe it down so it's not just smudged. But every time I look at it, it just keeps being smudged. So this is going to be a smudged bottle review. My apologies. This is a Silver Mountain Water clone. Now, to be honest, I just reviewed quite a bit or at least two Silver Mountain Water clones. Both of them I actually really liked and they were probably my favorite two Silver Mountain Water clones that I owned. So I was actually on a good streak of trying those. One was, I think the Silver Shade, and then the other one was the Rosasi's. I forget what the name was, but their Rosasi Silver Mountain Water clone was fantastic too. When I first tried this one, it had a little bit of an improvement from that Derby Clubhouse Silver vibe, which was very, very nice Silver Mountain Water clone, but it was very, very rough. This one was just so much more smooth, but for some reason, I just never wanted to touch it again because it felt very feminine to me. So I was like, man, I just like, I knew Silver Mountain Water is a unisex fragrance, so a man can wear it, a female can wear it, anybody can wear it, but this one just kind of felt a little bit more feminine. The notes we got here are bergamot, lemon, lavender, rose, blackcurrant, jasmine, lily of the valley, orris, sandalwood, and amber. Without further ado, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is very clean smelling. Now, just coming from something like Derby Clubhouse Silver, it was, had a very, very off-putting weird vibe. To be honest, most of the, the Silver Mountain Water clones that I've tried recently, they actually don't have that off-putting vibe. They actually smell pretty good, but I do want to say that uh, one of them smelled really, really rough, so I definitely want to put in this. There's no real rough or off-putting vibe to this. I really appreciate it. I definitely think it has similar, if not better, projection than the original Silver Mount Water. The original Silver Mount Water didn't project that much as it is, but I do think this is the same, if not more, which I definitely do appreciate. It is also very affordable. I think this one might be up to like $35. This is a pretty decent bottle. It does smell very, very good. It does copy a very, very expensive fragrance. So $35, $40, I think that's what it is. I might just put it down below for to see exactly what I paid or what it's going for now. And the last pro is that it's good in a lot of situations. I say this almost every time I'm reviewing a Silver Mountain Water clone. It just is really, really good in all situations. It usually has a unique kind of metallic freshness in the top that kind of goes good in the heat, but then it also has this kind of cool metallic quality and usually kind of like a green tea vibe that kind of goes well in a little bit of cold weather situations. So I just think it just is overall versatile in so many different areas. So let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. And I didn't know whether to put this really in a con or a mixed, but in my opinion, I gotta agree with my initial opinion. This is just very, very feminine. Even when I looked it up on Fragrantica, usually it says unisex, it said for women, or maybe there's a women's version, I don't know. As far as I knew, that I bought a the men's version or the only version I could buy, and it just smells very feminine. But I gotta put that in the mix because like say you're a girl and you wanna have it, you want it to smell feminine, or you know, you're a guy and for some reason you want a more feminine version of Silver Mountain Water, it exists and it's actually pretty inoffensive and pretty smooth so you have that here i probably will end up giving this away to a female friend of mine and i've reviewed it twice it's almost like a female fragrance to me or slightly dipping into that and i think it's because of the rose it doesn't overkill the rose because i don't really, really necessarily like overkill rose and female fragrances but it just pushes it a little bit more into the female category in my opinion the situations I, to me this is a, fem a feminine fragrance so it's very very versatile in almost all situations it's not really overly for any specific situation it kind of goes good in a lot of them but again it's it's feminine so it's hard for me to put myself and like recommend men to wear it in any situation just because it tips feminine for me. If I were to give it a smell rating, I'd give it an eight out of 10. Very, very solid, very, very good. Uh, likeability, I'd give it an eight out of 10 as well. It's just very, it's a very, very likable fragrance. It, it copies a niche fragrance and it's done here pretty well. It's not off-putting. Longevity and projection, I'd give it a solid 7.5. But again, I just wanna say that some of the fragrances on this channel that are very, very bad, I will, I will rank them as low as a 4.5 to a five. So this being a 7.5 is very very solid but anyways guys this is the feminine version in my opinion of silver mountain water this is what you should get if you're looking for a feminine silver mountain water very very good fragrance though i will say that anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace